Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you not like the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Problem is maximum width of binary tree. Uh, we'll be given a root of binary tree and we have to return the maximum width of the given tree. The maximum width of the tree is the maximum width among all levels, right? So, uh, width of one level is defined as the length between the end node and nodes. That is the leftmost node and the rightmost node. Where the null nodes between the end nodes are also counted. This is very important point guys. Where the null nodes between the end nodes are also counted into the length calculation. Fine. Um, so, see. Over here. Um, let's take this example. Uh, so see here we have to find the maximum width we have to find maximum width so here width is 1 here width is 1 2 so here width is 2 in this level and over here although there are 3 nodes 5 6 and 9 but the width will be 4 why because this 2's left child which is null will also be taken into account right why why we are taking this null into account because they have written here that it is the length between the end nodes where the null nodes between the end nodes are also counted that is these are the end nodes the no? 5 and 9 and between these 5 and 9 there is this null node so this will also be counted so the width will be 4 so maximum width is 4 so output will be 4 here. Fine. Right. I hope you understood this test case. Now let's see how we can approach this problem. So we have 1, 3, 1, 3, 2. Uh, let's say we have then 5, 6 and 9. See guys. Like when we see this problem, the first thing we have to find the width. So first approach which comes into mind is the level order traversal. We can do level order traversal. Level order traversal we can do. Fine. Some What I also thought one approach like uh, the approach which I thought was one that uh, I was thinking that maybe see here it is so sure like this is sure that the last uh, what i was thinking like i'm telling you my thinking so the last level will have the maximum number of nodes because it's the last level right it will have the maximum number of nodes so what i thought was that i will calculate the height i will calculate the height of the tree so height will be here what one two and three so height is three so what i will do is i will know the uh, the last c over here here the width was four na so what I will do, I will do 2 raised to power h minus 1, that is 2 raised to power h is what, 3 minus 1, 2 raised to power 2, so this will be 4. So this will be the number of nodes in the last level, fine, and this will be my output. So this was I, this is what I was thinking, that I will find the height of the tree, and then I will uh, just simply uh, do 2 raised to power h minus 1, and those will be the number of nodes in the last level, and that will be the width, maximum width. But this approach is not correct. Fine. Why? Why? See, this approach is working in this test case. When we have this test case. But let's see other test case. So over here, what I am doing is, I am just changing this test case a little bit. Here I have 1, 3, 2, 5 and 6. But 9 is the left child of 2. 9 is the left child of 2 now. Now guys, now see, now the width here will be 1, here will be 2, but here it will be 3, not 4. Why? Because now these are the endmost nodes. Na. Here although here we have null, but these are the end nodes of this level, 5 and 9. And here we, there is no null, so nothing needs to be taken into account. Right? This null is outside, like this null will not be taken then. Because here they have written na, that uh, between the end nodes, if there is null node, then only take it. So here, between the end nodes, these are the end nodes, there is not null. 
so here output will be 3 but according to if I do this uh, if I follow this height uh, approach like finding the height and the uh, doing 2 raised to power h minus 1 then here also height will come out to be 3 so 2 raised to power 3 minus 1 it will be 2 raised to power 2 so 4 but output is 3 output is 3 fine so this approach is not correct this is not correct so we this is one thing which we uh, saw that why this approach is not correct now again we can go back to the level order traversal so we will think that okay uh, since we have to find the width of the tree na, we have to find width so we can go level by level and we can calculate the width that thing we can do so let me draw, uh, draw this tree again so we have one three two five six and nine right this is the tree which we have now guys see what is level order traversal level order traversal we can simply if you are thinking that we can do like this so initially in the uh, when we are here so our one will be in the uh, queue so in level order we use queue right we use queue if you are not aware that how level order traversal works i will highly recommend just go through that first so yeah here first of all in the queue one will be there so width will be what one then when it comes to this level so the queue will have three and two fine and the width will be something like uh, two there are two nodes so width is two then when it comes to this level when it comes to this level then uh, width will be what five six now ideally here it should come null right and then it should come nine then only your width will come out to be four width will come out to be four and that is the output four fine so what we can conclude from this is that when we are at here when we are adding in the queue so even if the if two is left is null we will have to add it in the queue we have to add it in the queue right so this way this way we can get the answer this way we can get the answer right now this is one approach now this approach may not work in another test case so let's take that another test case over here 1 3 uh, 5 6 9 so guys see we are exploring right we are trying different approaches so we have this uh, 2 9 fine and uh, then we can have see now now see let's let me change this test case to something like this we have this right now see over here initially we will have what one so width will be one then we go to the second level and uh, in the queue we will have three and two so width will be two now for this three we will add five and six in the queue five and six and for this two we will add what null and null because we we if you remember we concluded that even if it is null we have to add it in the queue so for this two both left and right are null so null null will be added null null this is for left this is for right child now according to this see according to this width is four there are four elements in the queue but ideally width is only two max width is two here in this case so what we have to do see there is this ca this case that if from the queue the last nodes are null we just do not take them yeah we, we do not consider them so if you are if you are following this approach what you can do is that in your level in your queue you can just remove uh, you can just check if there are nulls from the end so if there are null from the end you can just simply remove them and then whatever is left will be your width right so this is one approach let me know a test case if uh, where you can see that this approach is failing but i think this approach can work so try once the uh, try uh, uh, implementing this approach once and let me know so what you can do is like you can check in the queue that if there are nulls from the end just simply remove them fine and then the whatever is left will be your uh, here so here when we start from the end there is not null so we just stop there we do not go further so this will be four only because here last was not null so we'll just stop here last was null so we go null null and then we stop fine so this is one approach right now let's discuss one more approach which is a new learning from this question 
that is a uh, really interesting approach and that is used many a times in different questions so we have 1 3 2 5 6 and 9 fine see guys we can use something called as indexes we can do index index uh, we can give indexes to the nodes indexes in a binary tree how we can do that see it to uh, like in array when we have array what we do we give zero these are the indexes right in the array two three nodes also we can give indexes if you have uh, implemented heaps and you know how priority queue or heaps are implemented then you might know this uh, uh, approach but don't worry if you are not aware we can discuss now so see we are giving indexes to the nodes so initially to the root we will give index 0 fine to the root we will give index 0 and to the left child we give 2 into if the root index see if the root index is i so the left child index will be 2 into i plus 1 that is if here root is the uh, index is 0 so left child which is 3 will have 2 into 0 plus 1 which is 1 so index for this 3 will be 1 and for the right child index will be right child index will be 2 into i so 2 into i 2 into i plus he, here it was plus 1 here it is plus 2 fine so here we will have 2 into 0 0 y by y because i is the root index and root index is 0 so 2 into 0 plus 2 so this will be 2 so here we have 2 fine now see now if we go to this uh, left to this node 3 so so 5 what will have 5 5 will have what index 2 into what is the index of the root node here root node like parent node you can see i is the parent parent node index parent node so here for 5 parent node is 3 so it had it has index 1 so 2 into 1 plus 1 this will be 3 so 5 has index 3 and 6 will have 2 into parent index is 1 plus 2 so this will be 2 into 4 right 4 similarly over here there is no left child so nothing we will do we will just find out the right child index so 2 into uh, parent is, uh, index is 2 plus since this is right child so 2 so this will be 6 6 right now see guys now see using these indexes we can find the maximum width of the tree how if you do over here see this is the last index last node index 2 minus if we do this first node which is 3's index which is 1 and we do plus 1 because these are indexes right so this will give us 2 so this will be the mid width of the this level similarly if we do for this level last level so here what will happen last nodes in in this level in this level last node is 9 so 9's index is what 6 minus in this level first node is what 5 its index is what 3 and plus 1 we will do because these are indexes so here see what we get 4 which is 4 is the width of this tree 4 is the oh uh, sorry width of the level fine I hope you understood this approach you can also try this approach if we have this le let's say we have this 9 something like this the left child then the index for this 9 will be what 2 into uh, parent is 2 plus 1 which is 5 so then see what will be the width this is the last node in the level so 5 minus first node index 3 plus 1 so this will be 2 plus 1 3 hence width will be 3 which is correct right so this is one approach we can use to find the maximum width of the binary uh, of a uh, binary tree uh, so i hope you understood the approach let's discuss the code once also do try the second approach which we discussed uh, the uh, this one uh, let me know if uh, any test case is failing for this this approach so see very simple this approach is very simple basic level order traversal is we are doing right basic level order traversal just that with every node we are storing its index right 
so in the queue in the queue we will have a pair like in the basic uh, when we have basic uh, level order traversal what we do we just uh, store the like this na the node in the queue but here since we have to find uh, we have to know indexes also of each node like these indexes right so what we will be doing is we will be storing we will have a pair and we will be storing the node and its index in the queue so it will be a pair and see initially we are uh, uh, we are adding in the queue root and index 0 so here initially we have taken index as 0 na for the root fine uh, then we are just uh, this is the classic level order traversal see until queue is not empty we find the size of the queue fine we find the start index and the end index of the the nodes so this is the first node in the level this is the last node in the level so see over here what we did for this level we found out the index of the first node this 5 and we found out the index of the last node that is 9 that was 5 then we subtracted them and we did plus 1 so this was the width of this level so this is what we are doing here we are finding the, for the first node in the level q dot front we are finding the second second is what the index so start this will be the start will store the index of the starting uh, node in the level and end will store the index of the last node in the level and then we are just uh, updating our answer so answer will be maximum of end minus start plus 1 fine and then we are what we are doing just we simply we are simply uh, have this for, we have simply this for loop and we are just adding in the queue the left and right child of the next like the next level fine this is like a like classic level order reversal so we pop the front uh, this uh, front element from the queue uh index so if node left is there node left and 2 into idx plus 1 for the left child this index will be there idx is the parent see this is the parent node so it that's the index we have taken and this is for the right child so i hope you understood this uh, approach if we submit this it's getting accepted time complexity c over here we have this queue right and uh, in the queue uh, how many uh, times this queue will go on so it will be depending on how many number of nodes are there right so it will go for each node so time complexity will be you can say o of n fine o of n uh, and for this inner loop um you can say that uh, we can uh, basically we can have uh, for this less last level if we see we can have uh, uh, let's say we have m nodes for uh, or we can say if we have uh, max size maybe we can um, take as m so we can have n into m time complexity and space complexity will be uh, this queues how many nodes will be there in the queue fine uh so i hope you understood the problem and the approach let me know in the comments if you have any doubt and if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video